Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about how to guess the zodiac sign Aquarius, and yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, people, first thing I want to get at is as far as guessing uh, the zodiac sign Aquarius by appearance or any other zodiac sign for that matter, of course you've got to factor in ethnicity and race into the equation, so to speak, because let's say if somebody is Asian or African American, some of this may not apply and pertain to them. And another thing is the fact that uh, if you, let's say you guess somebody uh, to be an Aquarius and they tell you I know their sun sign is something different well you still may have actually guessed their ascendant or moon sign so anyway people first thing is well as far as guessing the zodiac sign Aquarius by appearance well you look for uh, Aquarius is often tall often have broad shoulders often uh, it can be very strong and vigorous looking, uh, broad shoulders, they can have a very long trunk, uh, the body, body can be very uh, wiry and muscular. The uh, Looking at Aquarius as far as uh, the face goes, well Aquarians often have like a squarish or rectangular shaped head. The jawline, uh, jaw can be very broad and the hair is often like a sandyish or light brown uh, color. The face could be very, uh, very light. Uh, the, the complexion could be very light uh, for Aquarius. And the eyes may uh, often be blue or hazel. They may have kind of an, an odd shape to them. The eyes may look maybe even a little bit lopsided. Uh, the nose can be very straight. Uh, as far as Aquarius goes and there may uh, when you look at the Aquarius as far as uh, the top of the nose to the forehead that area there may not be a very strong indentation oh in that spot that's another thing to look for as far as Aquarius goes well Aquarius as far as the teeth go generally about average uh, quality in size and I think a, a thing to look at as far as Aquarius goes often even when their their mouth is in just regular just normal straight faced uh, straight I guess you could say closed or, or in repose uh, it often they look like they could be smiling even even in that so that's something to look for as far as Aquarius and appearance goes and Another thing about Aquarius too, as far as the appearance go, the forehead can be broad but can also be wide uh, as well. And the thing too is that Aquarius being as unorthodox as they are, they often may wear a very uh, unusual attire or something that most people uh, will not wear. And really, another thing is spotting um, the zodiac sign uh, Aquarius by uh, really uh, as far as uh, other things in addition to their appearance well Aquarians often uh, get injuries uh, to their ankles and if they're somebody's complaining about some kind of injury to their ankle whether it's a contusion or sprain or what have you is a good chance they have an Aquarius Sun moon or ascendant now as far as anything else goes in guessing the zodiac sign Aquarius, well, the thing about them too is that Aquarians can often, like if let's say you, you're having a scheduled meeting or something, or there's some planned dinner, Aquarians often will go on their own schedule. They're often nonconformists, and they may either arrive very early or they may show up late and either way they may not make a, a big thing about it either way now another thing too uh, about Aquarius is just general uh, they could be very unpredictable 
as far as their uh, behavior goes. They, the Aquarian people often don't want to be confined to any kind of restricted or regimented schedule. So that's really a, a thing as far as Aquarius goes, as far as guessing the zodiac sign. And really, another thing uh, about Aquarius too, and I think the, the other two air signs as well, they often uh, seem to put their head, when they walk, their head kind of tilts a little bit uh, to the side. I've noticed as far as any uh, outward mannerisms that can be betrayed by this sign as far as guessing them. Now, uh, really, uh, another thing, uh, too, about Aquarius is that they're often, they often have an aversion to being touched by people they don't really know uh, very well, and it could be that person that kind of, uh, rather than shake your hand, might kind of give you like a, a light elbow, so to speak, and really, they are people, too, that can be very, uh, even though Aquarians are often very amiable, sociable, and friendly, they could be very difficult to know deeply. They can make a lot of friends, a lot of acquaintances maybe very quickly, but their attachments are, are can often be superficial, and, and they often make, I should say, uh, they're, what the connections they make may often be superficial and they may have trouble having the deep connections. They are more about just just regular friendships and acquaintances and it's really if it's somebody that you're a person that you're having trouble really getting to know deeply there's a good chance it could be a sun, moon, or ascendant person. Many of you may have heard of the actor Richard Dean Anderson, who starred in the TV series MacGyver. Well, from what I understand, he was a very hard person uh, to know, and he, his sun sign is Aquarius, and he has a Gemini ascendant, and both those signs really are notorious for uh, really have, have been difficult to know uh, deeply. So I thought that was very interesting, and of course, on the show, many of you may know, this is what I want to get to as far as Aquarius goes. Aquarians may often uh, talk about maybe new ideas. Uh, they have new concepts, things that are innovative or eclectic. And Richard Dean Anderson, who played MacGyver, on that show, he always he made... He used a lot of that ingenu used ingenuity on the show, which, of course, is an Aquarian trait, and was able to improvise and make things out of just or just everyday ordinary uh, products and uh, supplies whether it would be turning uh, a gun into a wrench or whatever aquarians can often uh, do things which even if they don't even if this person is not an inventor they often will will take items and do unusual things with them i had a friend way back in about 30 years ago and he had an he has an Aquarius ascendant. And I can remember one time he took a, a bottle rocket and put a some kind of action figure on it or something and sent the the action figure flying into the air. Thought that was kind of funny and it really that having an Aquarius ascendant it didn't surprise me that he did something like that. I just thought that was very unusual, very bizarre. And it was something very unique and different, of course, and really Aquarius people are known uh, to be doing things that are different. It could be the person like uh, Nick Willenda, many of you may know. He became, I believe, that first person to tightrope over uh, the Grand Canyon with no netting. And Aquarius people will often do the things that a lot of people uh, will not do. He has a son in Aquarius, by the way. I had a friend uh, one time with Aquarius Ascendant, and I remember we were, he was driving uh, to, the, to the store, and I was in the front passenger seat with him. And he just unpredictably, instead of going into the parking lot in the conventional manner, 
he drove up the grass hill in order to get it. It surprised me a little bit, but maybe not as much as the average person, given that I had knowledge that he had as an Aquarius ascendant. So I thought that was interesting. Aquarians will often do really unpredictable things and, and things that the average person might actually be too reluctant and fearful to do. So that's another way you may be able to guess this zodiac sign, Aquarius. Well, anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for guessing the zodiac sign Aquarius. And stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about guessing the zodiac sign Pisces. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.